Hi, I'm Danny Black with another edition of Hobby News Daily. And uh, as you know, I like to interview people in the hobby, people I know, people uh, I have found their products to be helpful for me personally. And, uh, you know, this this is one that I, I really uh, saw it. And, and I think I messaged uh, this gentleman uh, almost right away uh, as I used it a little bit. Uh, so let me bring into the conversation uh, Nick from BreakComp.com. How are you? Hi, Danny. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm doing great. Uh, thanks for reaching out to me. I really appreciate it. Well, I love what you're doing, and, and I'm going to give a quick synopsis. A quick synopsis sure. is you're getting a breakdown uh, of really what you're paying on a break, uh, specifically pick your team, and, and, and an idea of across multiple breakers where their average pricing may be and, and just be able to compare. So I'm going to get into all that nuance later because I love it. But everybody wants to know. It's the, it's the big hobby question. You know, are you a card lover? <laughs> you know, how did you come to the hobby? How did you get into this? Because um, I think it's a great idea and I think it's overdue in the hobby. So so what brought you to the idea? Sure. Yeah, I, I am a card lover, obviously, to, to get into this. Uh, I've been collecting since 1987. Uh Chasing the the wood grain border, eighty seven tops cards. Try to get the Bo Jackson. Future stars, yep. That's right, future stars. Yeah, that uh, cool future stars logo on the card. Um, yeah, collected through the nineties. Uh, kind of as a, a, a teenager growing up, love those nineties inserts. Obviously, um, took took a break uh, late high school uh, in the early college years, and then. Um, Got back into it slowly uh, with cards and then going over to game use memorabilia a little bit. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Yep. Do you, I assume if you're into game use memorabilia, then you like the connection to the athletes or the moments or who are your teams? Who are your, who are your players that you sure, like? Yeah. I, I can't say I'm into game use memorabilia as much as I used to be. I got back into cards more in the 2017, 2018. Okay. Uh, Time, time range um but uh yeah I, I i'm in i really like game used home run baseballs that's <laughs> what, I, what i'm really into so do the players <laughs> yes yes, yes. The other uh, so so who do you root for do you mind me asking sure uh i'm about an hour and a half for philadelphia so mainly a phillies fan phillies 76ers eagles fan uh fought a little bit of hockey so flyers well, I'm sorry you've had no success. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a I'm a couple hours south of you in Baltimore, and oh, uh, nice. so yeah, no. We I was hoping that we would see you guys in the World Series. I thought that would have been the best matchup, but um, yeah, I digress. The Orioles. Yeah, let me tell you, I'm, I'm I could not be more excited for our future, and actually, that was one of the reasons. Um, that led me to, to, to you to you and to what you're doing. Um, I don't enter a lot of breaks. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm more of a single card collector, just being the old man I am. But my kids um, break a ton and, and I like to break with them. And when I thought there was a chance to save some money <laughs> yeah. and doing it at the same time, it was like, duh. You know, like I yes. felt lazy that I had not done the work. Um, and then, you know, it's kind of hand delivered. So uh, being an Oriole fan, I usually try to buy the Orioles, which has been expensive in recent years. So, uh, you know, the, 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 the top prospects and the breaks um, draw the higher dollars. So, you know, looking for, you know, comparisons w was a big help for us. Um, can you talk to, you know, a little bit about, you know, what the site does? You know, I'm, I'm talking about how I use it a little bit already, but talk about what the site does and really what was the impetus you know, to drive you into it? Sure. Yeah. I kind of got the idea. Uh, I consider uh, break comp kind of the kayak of the sports breaking world, uh, you know, with price aggregation, uh, with Priceline and kayak, those sort of sites. And then with uh, market movers, card ladder in the, the card wall price data, um, I, I thought it was a much needed site and service, uh, free service. Um, for for breaking consumers and collectors, um, we're we're great for PYT breaks, obviously. So uh, with the Orioles, yeah, it's a great uh, free service to use. Uh, easily narrow down the results uh, between products, teams, whatever you want to do. Um, we aggregate pricing all in one spot, so you don't need to be price uh, checking over here, over there. Bring it all in one nice compact spot for for you to access for free 
when I searched for the Baltimore Orioles, mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. I was looking at Tom's Tops Chrome update just because I knew it was recent and I hadn't hadn't quite frankly opened a pack of the product yet. So I was thinking, you know, maybe get into a break. Yeah. Um, and your site did something that I hadn't even thought of. It let me choose between um, a jumbo box break and, mm -hmm. and and what do they call it? Breakers Delight boxes now. Breakers Delight, um, yeah, and Hobby also, yeah. Right. And so I hadn't even thought about it, but there are mm -hmm. different breaks for the Orioles for Tops Chrome update. Yeah, um, they're all basically we for for the for Tops Chrome update we uh, we were tracking cases, uh, different number of boxes per case for each different product. But yes, uh, through our, uh, our our search um, search boxes on uh, breakcomp.com, it'll allow you to narrow down the results between the product and the type of box slash case in this circumstance that you're looking for. So, um, first of all, do you break? I do not break uh, to avoid conflict of interest. I Did have you in break the past, before? No, uh, yeah, a little bit here and there. I, 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 I can't say I was a heavy breaker, but yes, I definitely did break in the past, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, entertainment, obviously, because um, obviously you, you lose most of the time. To be honest with you. Well, I mean, your 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 site's kind of proving some of the some of the math there, um, mm -hmm. which I think is going to end up being a good thing for the hobby. I th I think it, it it will end up lowering um, some of the pricing and, and making it more competitive. And I think that that will have an impact. So I, I hope it has has that. Um, moving yeah, we're just, forward. Sure. We're just trying to allow the, the collectors to make better, uh, buying decisions if they want to use our data through the data that we provide. Now you have, um, a, a, a social media channel that gives highlights of certain things. Like you'll show, I think you had the other day, the, uh, Los Angeles Angels, and you were just, you know, a, a comparison on, on the feed. So um, for people who who want to follow you, just to, just to kind of get an update, uh, what are your social media handles? Sure. We're on Instagram at Break Comp Cards, and we have the same handle on uh, Twitter slash X as well. Yeah. As of recording, this is still Twitter slash X. So who yes. knows by the time <laughs> we play this right and obviously, um, our website is breakcomp.com. Then, right, singular. Um, singular, yes. Yes, absolutely. B r e a k c o m p. dot com. Who did your design? It's a very clean layout. We we have a, a few different designers uh, and programmers overseas. Kind of a a team that we're working on, and we're actually working on some um, kind of things that are going to really change this and make it even better in the next few months for everybody, both breakers and, and uh, collectors. I, I, th I think everybody's going to like what we have in store for the future and what we're going to bring uh, to you guys. Well, I'm excited because I think it's a clean, you know, good looking site now. Now yeah. for the breakers that are on there, how, how, do, how does a breaker get on the site? Can anybody sign up and get on? What, what is that process to, to actually be listed as a breaker? Sure. Yeah. Any, anybody can contact us. Uh, feel free to contact us. We do kind of have a review. The prices need to be posted publicly in order to be listed on there. Um, we do kind of have a, a, a checks and balances before we, you know, we just start posting uh, random prices on there, though. But yes, we encourage uh, any breaker to reach out to us. Uh, we'd love to speak with you and uh, hopefully get you on there for uh, better price comparisons. Just add to the list of all the breakers on there. Yeah, I, I, we, we, fact, we want to make this good for the breakers as well. Uh, we want good for the breakers, good for the people buying the breaks. One of the things that I found interesting was mm -hmm. I was able to find certain breakers had products or breaks available that I didn't, and they were the only ones, or, or there's almost nobody on, on a product. So that was a useful tool for me if I wanted to search out a specific product. It's, it's not just a price comparison. It's almost a, an availability um, tool. Um, yeah, they... yeah, certainly, especially you're going to find that on some of the, you know, higher end products like the NTs. Um, yeah, there's there's a fewer amount of breakers listed. So, yeah, it, it's really going to get give you a, 
a great price comparison because there's the, there's fewer amount of inventory out there. And uh, we, we're, we're, we're tracking prices on uh, many different platforms, uh, websites, whatnot, uh, Fanatics Live, uh, different uh, social media sites and accounts. And uh, sure. there's other avenues that we track pricing as well for. Have you re uh, received any pushback uh, yet from the breaker community? Yes. Yeah, we have had some uh, pushback here and there. Uh, but I can say uh, we've had so many more positive responses uh, for, from both sides, breakers and uh, the collectors as well. From the collector standpoint, I, I know you mentioned it was free. Now, is that free forever? Is that free for all? Not forever, but is that free for yeah. the infinite future? Uh, is, is that free for as many times as I want to go on? Sure. sure. Uh, it's, it's free to use simply after three searches. We ask you to to create an, a free account. So we, we have no plans to charge the 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 breaking consumers, the collectors uh, anytime soon, if at all. We, we have no plans on that. If I see something I like, how do I get to that actual break? Sure. It, once you narrow it down or see it in, kind of in our, our feature top 10 on our homepage, you will see, uh, I, I think it says buy now, and it will take you directly to that site um, or app to be able to make the purchase. And we, we're not at this time taking any um, commissions or anything from that as, as well. We're, we're not making any money at this time at all. Sure. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're, I, I understand yeah. uh, we're, we're working hard uh, for, for yeah. passion at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're just in this, uh, you know, to get the product out there as good as possible. We haven't even tried to go after uh, any, any sorts of money yet. We're just trying to get the product down and uh, get our name out there. What have you learned so far that maybe caught you off guard or has been a surprise? Um... Nothing huge, I would say. It's just um, cert certain feedback that I've received that they that mainly from collectors that they want tweaks here and there. I I get I guess the biggest one that you know I did introduce or implement already was at, when I first launched it was just a few months ago, maybe a month or two ago. Um, I wasn't doing the price aggregation for for listing a total for each breaker i was just doing individual teams and i've i received a lot of feedback that that people were saying they wanted that so um i really take to heart the feedback that i received and kind of implemented that within a week yeah because that's the cool thing is you really get to find out what's what, what breakers charging for the whole for the whole thing yeah um yeah yeah um and i know some people buy multiple teams and stuff like that that's right. Yeah, because doing it that way, it, it really does go, give a good price comparison for that particular breaker. Because um, some breaker obviously priced the the less desirable teams really low or high, or the the more di desirable teams really low uh, for appearance reasons. Um, so it it really gives a a good snapshot of what that breaker is offering. I know you see far more data on the back end than, than I can gleam on the front end, but yeah. certain patterns seem to stick out. One of them I've noticed is the geography of the breaker. If they are a local card shop or they have a, a brick and mortar, uh, their home team seems to price differently um, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, a little higher or a little lower. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that's fascinating, just, just yeah. how the market actually works. Um, and then the, the, the other thing that, that I really thought, um, was fascinating is I guess you get a good sense of popularity by seeing clicks on a certain product. Um, has, has anything, I know it's only been a month or two, but have you had a product that's been disproportionately hot? Uh, yeah. Top, tops Chrome products were tops Chrome update products were extremely hot and remain hot as well. Um, I would say, yeah, that, that has been probably the most popular that we, since we started, uh, although, want, although we're yeah. offering many different options as well to click on between the three different uh, types, between Breakers Delay, Jumbo, and uh, and Hobby. So there's more options there. But with the debut patches and that and everything, that, that did have a, a, a big response 
to to people uh, going after those. Yeah, I th- and I, I I think it's the the hottest that set's been in a number of years, actually. So uh, it doesn't really surprise me. Um, yeah. How quickly after a release do breakers, you know, typically or the, have prices published that you can use? Is it is it within a day of the release? Is it within a week of the release? How quickly, you know, are are you going to have those breakers prices up there? Um, it's it's actually pre-release. Like we're working on a product now that we we are already getting pricing on. It releases in two days, so we've been acquired prices on two okay. days, and it's going to release uh, tomorrow as we speak. Um, but um, yeah, we we plan to release pricing for that our first release today, and then obviously we we do updates along the way as well. So. so yeah, so, some breakers have pricing for us uh, pre-release. I, I can't really go into the yeah. details of you know the technology behind it or anything like that. But sure. yeah, pre-release for for a lot of products. But if I'm looking to break on a new product, I can go to you, you know, that day, the day before, um, and, and get a sense of of where I want to break the day of, you know, or as soon as it releases. Yeah, the the day of I would recommend probably just because the there's the majority listed on that particular day. Even the day after, as as people get things uh, over to us or posted uh, on their particular uh, site slash app. So yeah, day of probably day after are the best with the most breakers listed. Now a lot of people know prices of wax come out high and they always go down a little bit, you mm-hmm. know. Or- or typically go down a little bit. Um, the longer uh, you have data that accumulates, are you going to be able to to show some patterns that that people can use when they make those decisions of when to break? Yes, uh, we're still working through through the data. Obviously, as we just started, uh, we we didn't really uh, determine or narrow down what what data we're going to release. You know, beyond the basics of what we have out there. But yes. We really do plan on getting more granular with the data as time goes on. And as we build out the technology to allow us to display data in an easy to see uh, format and allow us to put together to put on social media to for the consumer to consume. Well, my, my only request is when you put it on social media, yeah. just make sure it's always the Orioles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they, they're a hot team, so we we have been putting a lot of uh, Orioles out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, with all their, their young prospects, um, can't go wrong. And well, uh, great stadium, by the way. And it still remains uh, one of the best stadiums in baseball. Can, and can vice versa. And I, I, I wish we could have signed Aaron Nola as a free agent, but, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, w- I wasn't sure that their Phillies were going to pony up that money and sign him long term, but. Yeah, they did, and we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a um, the Japanese free agent as well. Well, uh, I hope we don't end up in a bidding war because we, <laughs> we, we, we need we need pitching more than you. Uh, uh, but that's not how it works. So uh, you know. All right, uh, breakcom uh, dot com, Nick. Tell, tell everybody once again where to find you everywhere. Yeah, breakcom.com. Danny, like you said, uh, that's where our website is, obviously. Uh, Instagram, X slash Twitter, Break Comp Cards. You can find us as our handle. Feel free to reach out to us anytime. We love feedback. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions. Uh, we're here for the hobby. I am a collector and uh, love doing this. Well, I, I wouldn't have had you on if I didn't like what you're doing and, and, and find it useful myself. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit of a data geek, um, and, and more information to me is always more helpful. Uh, it doesn't mean, you know, you have to rely on it, but it, it's good to know that, you know, your favorite breaker may only be $5 more on the case than somebody else, and you can still choose to break with who you want. And, and it doesn't take the personality away from the breakers. It just gives more data. And right. just like baseball teams using their front office, you know, analytics, you know, are a part of, are a part of it, but they are an absolute integral part of it. So I'm glad sure. you're. It can be confirmation that you want to stick with the breaker you're currently with because you like their service, which uh, obviously our data doesn't take in the intangibles of the service that they provide or anything like that. So it just may reaffirm that 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 your uh, breaker that you're with now is the one you want to stay with. 
A absolutely. Well, I look forward to certainly uh, using the product many times, and I hope uh, we can have you back in the future and uh, get an update from you. Would love to. Have fun, Danny. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I look forward to it. Hang out in the green room. To everybody else, thanks for watching another edition of Hobby News Daily. Take care.